Hey everyone, this is Dr. Pipro here and welcome to this video from Data is Easy. Data visualization is a great technique to understand the data in one view. Graphs are visual representation of data. For better understanding of data or getting the insights from the data, graphs are considered ideal. Python provides number of libraries for data visualization. We will learn three incredible Python data visualization libraries which help us in drawing beautiful graphs. First is matplotlib, second is pandas which is not exactly a data visualization library, but it integrates matplotlib library, which makes data visualization super easy for data frames. And third is Seaborn, which also extends matplotlib, but draws much more beautiful graphs. Let's start with matplotlib. Before delving into the graphs, we first need to understand a couple of basic components of a graph under the purview of matplotlib. First is figure. Figure is like a canvas where you can draw single or multiple graphs. Axis. Axis is the actual area where a graph is plotted. There can be multiple axes and graphs in one figure. Now let's draw some graphs by coding in Jupyter Notebook. First of all, import pyplot module of matplotlib library as plt. Then we need to execute this statement percentage matplotlib inline to draw all the graphs in Jupyter Notebook just below the cell code. Otherwise, graph will open in a separate window. Now let's draw different types of graphs. Let us start with line plot. We will draw basic single line plot y equal to x. We need data points x and y for that. We will generate these data points using numpy library. First import numpy as np. Now we will create 10 points between 0 and 2 using numpy's line space function. Print x and we have got an array of 10 elements. Now create one more variable y which is equivalent to x. Now as mentioned earlier, to create a graph in matplotlib, we first need to create a figure and axis. They can be created using pyplot subplots function like this. Now we need to plot a graph on this axis. A graph can be created on axis by calling its plot function. Call plot function and pass x and y into it. And then set the title of axis by calling set function. Pass whatever title you want. And then show this plot using plot.show. And we have got our first graph. So to sum it up, to create a graph in matplotlib, we first need to create a figure and axis and then plot a graph and finally show it. Now let us add few more things in this graph. Again create figure and axis. Now call generic function set of axis and set all the graph related parameters inside it. Starting with title, x label and y label. Now plot the graph and show it. And we can see all the elements that we set for this graph. Okay, till now we have created just one graph in a figure. Let us create two graphs now. For that, while creating figure and axis, we need to pass the row and column values according to the graphs we want to draw. Let's say we want two graphs in two rows and one column. So we will pass two and one to subplots function. Here x is an array of multiple axes. Until now we set title for axis. Now we will set title for entire figure using subtitle function of figure. Let us give them title to subplots. So now as we are creating two graphs, we have got two axes. These can be called axis 0 and axis 1. To plot the graph on axis 0, we will call plot function on this axis. To draw second graph, call plot function on axis 1 and draw function between x and y square. And now show the plots. You can see that two graphs are drawn in two rows and one column format. And the title for this entire figure is two subplots. Now let us draw four graphs in two rows and two columns. For that we need to pass 2 by 2 into subplots function. Set the title for this figure as 4 subplots. As we have 4 axes in 2 by 2 format now, first axis will be axis 0 0, first row, first column graph. Now plot a line graph between x and y. And set the title as first subplot. Now let's plot the second graph between x and y square. This axis will be axis 0 1 first row, second column graph and set the title as second subplot. Plot the third subplot between x and y cube. This axis will be axis 1 0, second row, first column graph and set the title as third subplot. Now plot the last graph between x and square root of y on axis 1 1 and set the title fourth subplot. Now show this entire plot and you can see 4 graphs in 2x2 format. 
we have the entire figure's title four subplots and also individual graphs titles. But as you see here, it doesn't look good. There is a lot of overlapping here. To draw them correctly without overlapping, we can call another function on plot and that is tight layout. Now execute this again and graphs look quite good without any overlapping. Now we will look at other graphs, but before that, let's get a dataset, Iris dataset. There is a library called sklearn, which is one of the best machine learning libraries in Python. It provides lot of datasets. We will get Iris dataset from this. This has data about three species of Iris flower. Each species has 50 samples in the data. In this data, we have information of two parts of flower, sepal and petal. On the basis of sepals and petals length and width, a species of flower is decided. We will talk about this dataset in detail in later videos. But for now, we will use it just to draw graphs. Let us import load iris from sklearn dataset. Then get the dataset like this. Let's have a look at all the attributes of iris by using dir function. In data attribute, we have data in numpy array format. Feature names are like column names of data. So we have four columns here. Target names are these three species names and target is their values represented in numbers 0 to 2. All zeros belong to first species, 1 to second and 2 to third species. Now this iris data is numpy array. We will convert it into pandas data frame now by providing data and column names like this. Now look at few rows of iris data. So we have got the iris data in data frame. Let's look at box plot graph now. Boxplot is a graphical representation of spread of data and shows the basic statistical properties like what is the minimum point of the data. First quartile shows the point where 25% data is below it and 75% is above this point. Median shows mid of spread of data or 50% of the data. Third quartile shows the point where 75% data is below it and 25% is above it. Maximum shows the maximum point of data and points below minimum and above maximum are outliers. Again create figure and axis and then call box plot function and pass the column of data frame into it on which we want to create box plot and then show the plot and we get the box plot which shows minimum, maximum, median etc. To show the box plot of all numerical columns of data, pass all of them in a list. Get figure and axis again and pass all columns of data frame in a list. and show the plot and we see four box plots in same graph. Now let's see scatter plot. To draw a scatter plot function matplotlib provides a scatter function. Get figure and axis and call a scatter function on the axis. Pass sepal length column as x axis parameter and sepal width column as y axis parameter. We can also decide the color of graph using color parameter. Pass character r to have the graph in red color. Now show the plot and we get a nice and beautiful scatter plot graph. Next graph is histogram. Histograms are plotted to see frequency distribution of values of a variable. In simple words, how many data points are there for each value of a variable. Histogram is plotted for a single numerical variable or a single column of data frame. To draw histogram, again get figure and axis and call hist function of axis. Pass the column on which we want to draw histogram. Let's set the color as green by passing character g. And let's have histograms edge color as yellow. We will have all the values in 5 bins. Now you can see the histograms having 5 bins. It basically says that there are around 32 data points for which sepal length is in this range, 40 data points for sepal length in this range and so on. We can change the number of bins and color etc as per the requirement. Next graph is pie chart. Let's draw a pie chart for target values of iris data. There are 3 species of iris flower. These values show that a data point belongs to which species. 0 means Satosa species, 1 means Versicolor and second means Virginica. These are three species of iris flower. Let's get the unique values and their counts from this target array using numpy's unique function. Now unique has got three values and counts tells that there are 50 data points for each value. Get the figure and axis. Call pi function of axis and pass counts and also unique values as labels. Now show the plot and we see three categories occupying equal pi of chart. Last graph of this video is bar plot. First let's make a sales data frame having columns items A to E. 
and sales volume having their respective sales in a day at a grocery shop. Have a look at the data frame. Now get the figure and axis. Bar function of matplotlib axis takes list of positions and corresponding values as inputs. The labels for x can be provided later using x text function. So create a list x of 5 numbers 0 to 4 corresponding to each item and pass x and sales volume column of data frame. Now use x text function to change the labels from numbers to actual item names like this. Then show the plot. Horizontal bar chart can also be created. All we need to do is instead of bar function call bar h function and instead of x text call y text function. And we have got a horizontal bar chart. That's all for this video. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning. Take care. Bye-bye.